Oh, hello there. Thank you so much for coming in and checking out our review. My name is Steve Moore and I'm the owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Ultra Superior 5. This comes out in June of 2021. Uh, this is Ultra's most low profile, really most low profile ultra shoe that they make in sort of a road trail category. Um, so this is it. This is a nice light, low cushion, low profile trail shoe. They call this the grippy trail hugger. Uh, and I, I mean, I suppose, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's much more flexible than some of the other trail shoes that are out there um, from Ultra or just some of the other ones. So this is sort of a nice bendy shoe if you're looking for sort of that fun, fast. I always use the word nimble when I describe this shoe. Uh, the original Superior was actually my very first real Ultra trail shoe. And I was very excited about it. And I was just sort of getting into trails. I always sort of liked running trails, but like sort of making more of a focus in my everyday training on trails. So I had a bunch of superiors, superiors twos, all that good jazz. And I, I really like this shoe. And you've seen the shoe get less and less bulky throughout the years. You know, it's it's always been, again, their, their most low profile, low stack height shoe, but it did just have a lot going on in their early iterations. It had like the little extender on the back that was designed to give you a little more balance if you were coming downhill. So they kind of trimmed that away over the years and they made some nice modifications. So not only is it still its most low profile shoe at just 21 millimeters of stack height, it's also just sort of aesthetically to me, it looks like just a little bit less shoe than some of the other stuff out there, um, specifically on the trail line. If you're looking at some stuff like the Lone Peak and things, uh, it just looks like there's a lot. This shoe could almost pass as just like an everyday road shoe. Uh, so I talked about sort of the stack height on this shoe and just to give it a comparison, the stack height on the Ultra Superior 5 has not changed since the last one. It's just 21 millimeters tall. And so like if you're looking at another road shoe to compare it to, an Escalante comes in higher than that. The Escalante is coming in at 24. So it is nice, noticeably lower. And I think because of that, people that are looking for that low minimal profile shoe, they'll use this as an everyday just walking shoe. We have customers that come in all the time that I'll see them in a pair of superiors, especially like, as I said, they've got sort of their, their newer models that are less shoe. And, you know, I, oh, you do some trail running? I say, no, I just, this is just my comfortable, this is my everyday. And I think there's a couple of reasons. It's, it's very light, um, it's very nice and wide. Uh, it, again, it's low profile and it also has a lower arch profile. So like if you really were coming in here and said, I was looking for what's the most minimal shoe that you carry, you know, maybe I don't want to go all the way to like, like a Vibram or something like that, or like, you know, there's, you know, like zero or some other of the great shoes that are out there that make like a totally zero profile, zero drop shoe, like an ultra, but like totally minimal on the low ground there. Um, this would be the shoe that I would pull for them. I would make sure that I would probably try something like an Escalante with them as well because that is nice and flexible, but I, I certainly would have no problem pulling this shoe because I see enough people coming in that are using this for an everyday shoe. Specifically, it is more geared towards trail, um, but it is a nice low arch profile for that as well. Kind of keeping on the same line of the arch profile on this shoe, again, all superiors have a little bit lower to it. So while it's, you know, they really don't have a shoe in the ultra family that is a stability shoe, most brands don't really have a stability shoe anyway. Specifically, if, you're, if you really are using this as a trail shoe and not just like your casual everyday or your walking shoe or whatever it may be, um, and you are just going out and using this on the trail as it's sort of intended to be, you're not doing so much of the same repetitive motion where if you have a lower weaker arch, you might be putting more pressure on the inside or whatever stability issues you may have going on. You won't feel that as much because you're on the trail. So really, we when somebody comes in and says like, you know, I'm wearing a very stable shoe and I want to transition into trail, like, would you think the shoe is okay? I, I really don't have a problem putting anybody with any part profile into like a trail shoe. And if they're really concerned about needing some extra support in there, a lot of times I'll say, you know, Go two weeks with nothing in this, again, as long as this is your just trail shoe and see if you feel like you're missing that sport. And if you are, you can always throw in like something like a super feed or an Atrex or something out there that's gonna add a little bit more arch sport into it without feeling like you need to go all the way to something that has a higher firmer stability shoe that has an, like a trail wrapper to it. So um, this is gonna be your nice nimbly trail hugging shoe. And so let's get into a couple little things that have changed from previous versions. Uh, I pulled out the last version here. So these are both 10 and a halfs. Um, they, one nice thing with the superior compared to some of the other ones, and I'm, um, I'm just going to say like, like the temp, for example, the temp on some people just runs a little bit narrower. Um, this is a nice wide shoe and it is also kind of flexible. When I first saw the upper on this shoe, 
I, I foolishly at first was like, oh, it must be the same upper that's on the new Escalante. That is so grip, a stretchy, like you can put your finger through it and you can see your finger get stretched all over the place. It's not that. It looks like it aesthetically, but it's not. It is definitely a softer upper compared to sort of the, the, the upper that was on the 4.5 and it's lighter and it feels thinner, but from what everything that I'm being told, it's gonna be more durable, it's gonna be more rugged, you know? So it wouldn't make sense to have the stretchy upper that you'd have in Escalante because it certainly would have a better expectation or a better chance of like snagging and such. So this is a softer, nicer upper that doesn't have the same overlays. So while it's not gonna give you the same stretch, it still feels nice and loose. Um, still gonna be plenty of extra width and such there. Um, it still has the same sort of lacing pattern, but we did add that top eye hole. So, you know, people that are always curious if they'll be able to do like the marathon loop and such, that is there on five and it was not there on the 4.5. The other thing you might notice is that we have removed this little piece here and that piece on both and really on all ultra shoes is designed if you wanted to add a gator trap. So if you wanted to put on the little turtleneck for your ankle, you clip it here and it goes on the Velcro back here. So the Velcro is still there, but we re removed that. And that's supposed to just give you a little bit more, um, a little more preference as to where you might put that. So if you wanted to kind of put it in a different spot, you can, um, and it also might give a little bit better fit on the shoe as well. And that's sort of one of the things they were hoping for on this new update, the new upper is just a little bit better fit, not any little bunching here, just a little bit more opportunity for it to sort of fit and feel good around your shoe, around your foot. The shoe comes with a full stitched on one side, on your medial side, and then it is gusseted on the lateral side there. So it's gonna to try to keep more, more muckety muck, as I call it, out of your shoes. So that is by design, that it's designed already without even having a gator trap in it. It's designed to kind of keep things out of your shoe a little bit more. Uh, this is the only ultra shoe that comes with a removable stone guard. And sort of going back to before is talking about having this shoe as like an everyday shoe. So if you were like just using it as your everyday, this comes removable inside the box. It's gonna come outside the box so you can sort of see if you wanna add it or not. This was the stone guard that had been in previous superiors. So this would come on its side and you can put it underneath the insole and give yourself a little bit more protection. So this has been sort of the same one throughout the years. They have now updated it. So you can see it has different levels of density, like it's sort of thicker on certain spots where you might be putting more pressure. It might need a little bit more. So it's targeted stability, or excuse me, targeted perfection, protection in the stone guard. So just a little bit of update there, I just want to draw attention to. Again, doesn't weigh anything, doesn't like, it's not like it's gonna you know, hinder your run at all if you decide to put it in uh, for your trail stuff. And quite honestly, I, I don't know why you would just not put it on all the time. That's just me. Um, I would just slip that in because it's not going to make your shoe feel like, you know, a big soft squishy shoe compared to like a really stable shoe by having that in. So anyway, there's your removable stone guard. Um, Ultra Superior, these are two women's colors that we have up here. Women's colors, women's colors, very nice. And then these were two of the men's colors that we're gonna be having here. The price point did jump up a couple bucks. So this guy was originally 110, or excuse me, Ultra Superior is 110, uh, Ultra bumped this up to 120. But really for, for what it is, it's an awesome trail shoe. I would have no problem running in this shoe for up to like, if I was going out there and run, you know, 90 minutes on the trail or so, like some serious running on the trail, I'd be fine with this. The nice max track on the outside is great, it's grippy, and it's an improvement over the last set. You know, it's designed to have those grippy lugs, the idea being that you can, if you're stepping on something, the shoe's gonna bend with you a little bit, give you the grip, give you the protection, you're not gonna fall on your face, you're gonna have a happy run, all that good jazz. So, it's gonna give you the protection, it's plenty of cushion to do, you know, almost all of your everyday stuff, maybe not your long weekend stuff, if that's the kind of runner that you are. Um, the midsole still is the same from the last one. This is the, probably, I'm guessing, one of the last versions that Ultra is gonna have the Quantic midsole in it. In fact, it doesn't even really say anywhere on the shoe what kind of midsole it is, but I'm just going to guess that it's a Quantic midsole. That's what it feels like. That's sort of the way that it kind of performs. Um, it wouldn't shock me if we saw like in a year or so that this is now being replaced with like an ego midsole that we're seeing in stuff like the Lone Peak and such as they're kind of perfecting that and adding it to more shoes, but don't hold me to that. That's just my vibe. Uh, so Superior it is available on our site. It's available in June. Uh, it's 120 bucks. If you go ahead and get it through our shop, use promo code RUNMORE, just one word, two O's and more like my name, uh, you'll save 10%, we'll ship it out for free. And uh, give us a like and subscribe, it really helps us. And if you pop over and check out our review on the Torin 5 that's up now, that also comes out in June, we're doing a little contest. Go over there, drop your favorite Ultra shoe in the comments, and we are going to send somebody some free goodies from Ultra, just some swag. Um, and we'll even throw in some run more stuff in there too. So thank you so much for the support. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below or reach out to us. Thanks a lot. Happy running. Hope to see you on the trail.